Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning to you. It is Wednesday, August 26th. I'm Chris Langlois. Before we get to your top news headlines, your forecast is first with meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. What can we expect today? A very nice start to our Wednesday, Chris. A beautiful afternoon in store for us, mostly to partly sunny, and your eyewitness weather forecast will make it to 78 for the high today, which is right on par with average for this time of year. Also, a less humid day and a little bit breezy as we go into our afternoon. Tonight, we drop to 62. Cloud cover returns, as do a few showers, and we'll even toss a thunderstorm into the mix, though nothing overly exciting as we go through tonight. Tomorrow, it's much warmer and it's much more humid again. 88 for the high. Showers and storms will start to fire up in the afternoon again, then actually continue into tomorrow evening. So as that happens, any thunderstorm could have a little muscle behind it tomorrow, including tomorrow night. Friday, a lingering shower or storm. The remnants from what is right now Hurricane Laura will get here on Saturday. Then we dry out early next week, Chris. Thanks, Stefano. A new discovery in a homicide investigation renews the search for a missing man. The five-year-old chocolate lab of Richard and Patricia Walski of Larksville was found alive in the honeypot section of Nanakoke. Police resumed their search efforts for Richard, who's wanted for questioning in the death of his wife, who was found inside their home. Court documents show she died of a gunshot wound to the head. Authorities say Richard Walski could be a perpetrator or a victim in this case. The police are investigating new leads in a cold case homicide going back more than two decades. State police have uncovered new evidence in the 1997 death of 43-year-old Patricia Wall. She died in a house fire in Damascus Township, Wayne County. The fire was later ruled arson, and her death was deemed a homicide. That's all the time that we have for now, but if you'd like to get your top stories throughout the day or your latest forecasts, you can do that at pahomepage.com.